Today I want to try to make our videos really perfect for every one of you. And one of the most commonly written critical comments is that I can't use electrical power from the power grid in my videos because it's not enough post-apocalyptic. So because I want to make it right for everybody, our future videos will sound like this. Okay, so just let me check the other critical comments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get better sound quality on your videos. Okay, so unfortunately I can't make it right for everybody. So just continue with today's project. So because we want to make many of our future videos in our different bug out locations, we are aware of the fact that we are pretty much compromising our whole bug out infrastructure. So the safety and concealment of our bug out camps and bug out bunkers will be a bit of an issue in the future. So in today's video we are going to build a very simple trigger mechanism for activating one of our traps. A trigger mechanism like that is very easy. All you are going to need is a mouse trap, some lengths of wire, a little bolt with a couple of nuts and some string. Okay, so basically we are already done with our trigger mechanism, but for one, this one was way too short and way too easy for a really good video. So we also need a trap which is activated by this one here. For sure you can use a device like this for setting up explosives with an electric detonator, but unfortunately this will be highly illegal here in Austria. That doesn't exactly mean that we won't do it, but we're certainly not going to upload this to YouTube. So if it's the case that you live in an area like me where explosives are not really allowed, there's a perfect substitute for it. All you're gonna need is some kind of battery from everything from 9 to 24 volts and an airbag from the steering wheel of a car. Now I've rigged up this whole contraption as once, so I can show you how it works basically. You have your mousetrap and you want to install it in the path of the drip wire and then just cock your mousetrap like you will cock every other normal mousetrap. Under this little launch pad here we have our airbag and the wires which go out from it. We're going to hook up the negative leads to the battery directly and we will connect the positive side of the battery with the positive side of the airbag with a little mousetrap contraption in between. So when your unwanted visitors step on the trip wire, your mousetrap will trigger and the electric circuit between this screw here 
and the bar of the mousetrap is shut, which is activating the airbag, which is launching this whole contraption up. And you can use your imagination on which devices you're going to fit on this pad here and how long this lever will be, depending on where you want to hit your enemy. So in the final setup, this whole thing will be buried underneath the ground under a thin layer of leaves, just at the entrance of one of our bunkers. I've also tried to weight it down with this chain here. So let's give it a try and see if it works. So I think we have a success. And it also tastes like success. Never throw away good food. If you want to see more improvised traps like this one here, be sure to click the like button and also let us know in the comments below. That's it for today guys. Have a nice evening and goodbye. One more thing. Definitely. Don't try this at home. Man, I love watermelon. <laughs>